Good morning. Welcome to Sunday morning. Time for the Sunday morning before church shave. <clears throat> All right. Today, clock proof. Jim, achromatic, clock proof. Just a brass razor. This one's not so shiny, but it's a uh, always been a good shaver. Laid in there and everything's behind the stops and everything's good. We're also using today a horsehair brush. Uh, be long, by long, be long, I think it's called. Anyway, there it is, horsehair brush. And in our little container here is Ogallala Bay Rum. Gotta love a Bay Rum soap in Ogallala. I've had this one several years and it's still a great soap. And we're gonna finish up with Cranford's Finest Bay Rum. This is a very, very, very nice Bay Rum, by the way. It's, uh, as I've said before, I've used it. It is a uh, very classic, nice Bay Rum. It's not overstated. It's not the uh, Virgin Island Bay Rum, which is Pinaud, is a very in-your-face scent, which is great at times. I, I like it. But this is a smoother, uh, I would almost say more sophisticated Bay Rum scent. Really nice. And it's uh, aloe vera, uh, uh, witch hazel based instead of alcohol. So if you don't like the alcohol so much, that would be good for you. All righty. Horsehair brushes are a lot like, uh, I can't remember if I've done a video with a horsehair brush, but anyway, um, it's it's a lot like using a boar brush. There's not, a, to me, a lot of difference between a, a horse brush and a uh, and a boar brush. This one is a uh, part mane, part tail. I don't remember the mixture ratio. Uh, I think one of my shave buddies sent this brush to me many moons ago. Alright, a little soap on there. The uh, Ogallala is a very nice Bay Rum scent. It's, it's kind of like the Virgin Island in that it's a uh, very loud scent. It's also a tremendous lathering soap. Highly recommend it. Alright, look at that. Brushes work that right up. All right. Dry the hands out there a little bit. And the Micromatic. The uh, gym, the company, would recommend that you run it flat on the face. And that is pretty much how I use it. I know some people do a little bit different people do a lot of things but if it's uh you know a little bit better angle for you to not run it flat then by all means don't run it flat but uh, I find that with this razor or the uh, open cone micromatic pretty much flat on the face is, uh, is where I like them But it's a it's a little bit I think smoother shave a lot of times than the uh, open comb. Although I love the open comb micromatic, but they all do a really really good job. If you like a little bit heavier razor, this is a little bit heavier than say the, uh, you know, some of the 1912s or some of the more modern uh, razors. Just be sure the head is screwed down tight, like you would with any twist open. Probably should have mentioned that to start with, huh? But anyway. All 
right. And the clock proof has got this, uh, take just a second to show it. It's got this funky little safety bar there. And uh, that just works really well. It's not, it's kind of a cross, I guess, between what looks like the open comb and a closed comb across there. But anyway, whatever it is, the clock proof works pretty good. And there's another razor here. I just happen to still have. The uh, Treat razor has the same style, really similar anyway, safety bar to it and works really well. So just to kind of throw that in. A little bonus for the morning. All right. I love it way too much soap in this brush, but that's okay. second pass going here easy peasy chin here at an angle everybody has their own way of getting through but the important thing is that you build a a pattern that works for you that you get a your technique because with a, a good technique the razor and the blade doesn't matter as much because if there's some little inconsistency there your technique will iron it out and you can once you get your technique down you can show you with pretty much anything. You can even glue a razor blade on a stick and show you with it once you get the technique down. Alright, uh, come across here. Very nice. loud right there on the chin. This big old chin to work around. But that's not so hard. I'm making a mess on my shirt today, but that's okay too. Alrighty. Get ready for our cleanup. Which is always we'll dry off. Because we're gonna use witch hazel for the cleanup pass. So we don't want to dilute it down. See, so already got a nice little shave. It'll be able to clean up around the chin there. Regular old dollar store witch hazel. Alrighty. Just off around the chin a little bit. All these other normal places we have to always go through. All right. Not bad shave at all. From the good old clog proof. If you haven't tried the uh, Micromatic, especially the open comb, a lot of people kind of talk about them like they're a monster or something, and you do have to pay attention. But don't be scared of them. The the uh, open comb, clog proof, and the flying wing bullet tip, whichever you want to call it. They're great razors. Uh, you just have to pay attention, especially with, like I said, the uh, open comb. You have to pay attention to be sure they're going to mind their manners. All right. Well, it smells nice. Got a good feel to it. That's again the Cramperage finest. 
If you don't have any, you need to have some if you like a good bait rum scent. All right. Well, there we go. Have a good day. And happy shapes.